Hello and good evening here with another tool review video if you like and uh, I decided to buy myself a new torque wrench because my old one's fallen apart and it was only a cheap one anyway I didn't really think that it was uh, very accurate or consistent so given that I'm working on a couple of engines at the moment I decided that uh, buying a, a new decent quality torque wrench was going to be the uh, order of the day so I had a good look online and the manufacturer that kept coming up recommended were these guys, uh, Norbar Torque Tools. And this is their TTI 50 torque wrench. And they give it a part number 13842. Uh, I've never had one of these before. And all I know about them is uh, Norbar is a company that um, they're, they are based in the UK, uh, England specifically. Um, they do all kinds of torque wrenches from what you would consider quite a cheap one like this. This was £99, um, which isn't cheap compared to cheapy torque wrenches, um, but it's cheap for a good one, definitely. And they do a whole range of them, and the, the more expensive ones that I saw were about £3,500, which is a little bit out of my league, I'm afraid. Uh, in fact, I think it's out of most people's league. Maybe if you're the lead mechanic for the uh, McLaren Formula One team, you might be looking at something like that. But for me, I just want something straightforward, but I want it reliable and consistent, which is uh, everything you want from a, a torque wrench, really. If it's not those things, then um, there's really no point in having it. So I ordered this uh, for the sake of accuracy. I ordered it from RS Components. Now, I like RS Components. They stock... Um, good quality stuff, their, their tools, and well, all their products are actually pretty good. They don't seem to stock rubbish. Everything I've had from them has been quite good. And the other thing I like about them too is that um, they're very quick on delivery. I'm not sure how they wangle it, but I ordered this about 7.30 at night and it was waiting for me on the doorstep in the morning. And given that I live in quite a rural location uh, in deepest North Wales, that's uh, that's not bad. Okay, um, why don't we open it up then, have a look. Surprisingly difficult thing to actually. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, nothing else in there. Put those over there. Okay, well, we'll start with the uh, the torque wrench itself. It feels nice and weighty. You know, it feels nice and yeah, it's heavy. It doesn't feel rubbishy at all. It feels like a good quality tool. Uh, obviously, we've got the um, the drive at that end. Um, uh, I guess it's extendable, is it? I don't remember. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Sometimes they are. I can't remember if this was extendable or not. It's got a serial number, which is nice. Made in England. I don't know where in England. And there's the scale. Um, it shows you where you are. It's in Newton meters and also pound feet. The Newton meters being the more modern metric uh, scale and also uh, foot pounds or pound feet over there. And I guess this wheel adjusts it. So are you? Oh yeah. Okay. So you've also got this little window here, which I guess is like um like a fine tune. So I guess this is for setting it, right? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that, but as I spin that uh, adjuster, the um the line is moving. According to this, at the lower end of the scale, you've got 10 Newton meters. Um, what looks like about uh, seven foot pounds. It goes up to 50 Newton meters or what looks like to be about 37 foot pounds. So it's a reasonable scale for general mechanics. So you've got a good rubber grip handle there that feels quite sturdy. Uh, this is plastic, this wheel on the end. 
and it's not turning with that not out. I don't know. Well, I presume that's deliberate to, to lock it. Okay, let's see what the documentation says. Uh, suggests with well, that scale actually goes for say 10 to 50 newton meters it's actually rated to 20 to 50 newton meters and 15 to 35 foot pounds is what they're suggesting um it's good scale is yeah all oh, right okay it does lock and um, when you put the the lever down that's fine yep turn to adjust um okay it says don't use it at either end of the scale okay gives you a link to a video there so i'll bring that to the camera so you can uh, do that oh, this is the calibration certificate 6th of april 2021 person who's calibrated it, the range has been calibrated, and the temperature it was done at. That's nice. That's very uh, confidence inspiring. Yeah, overall, yeah, I, I think it's a, it feels like a really good quality tool. It's the cheapest one they make, but I wouldn't call it a, a cheap tool. I'd call it quite a quite a well-made sturdy tool and I'm sure it's accurate um, there's no no extension facility that these sometimes have but like I say this is the cheapest one they made so I'm not surprised it's a good range to 10 to 50 Newton meters um, well 20 technically now that's weird because it actually says that it's intended for 20 to 50 but actually they tested at 10 and it works at 10 uh, so really I guess we can assume that it's alright from 10 10 to 50 is, is reasonable okay well thanks for watching my video I hope you found that useful in case you're considering buying the same one yourself uh, I will probably do another video on it after I've used it for six months or so and give a, another opinion on it. Um, but certainly first impressions from now, I, I can't see there being any issue with that at all. Okay, well, thanks for watching and I shall see you in another video, hopefully very soon. Goodbye.